Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Scylla Stuff and Things. Today I am going to be answering your questions, but I've got some chores to do. We're going to do some hair and makeup. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. You are going to see what I get to make for lunch on one of my busy work days. So here we go. Let's get real. Do you make your bed every day? I'm gonna be honest, I don't make my bed every day. But today I am, because when I do, it makes me feel super accomplished. So we're gonna answer your questions as we go. The first question, what is your favorite candle and perfume scent? So I would say my favorite candle scent is anything like a cedar wood. I love it so much. I don't know, it kinda gives me the outdoor scent. My favorite perfume, I kind of go back and forth. I have the L'Occitane um, Berry one that I really like. And then I also have, there's a fancy one that I use, Prada. Um, that's a good one. Gina Bina wants to know, have you ever felt overwhelmed with Abigail? And yes. Um, I think any parent that has a child has always had um, some time in their life that they felt overwhelmed. Adding special needs on top of that is just that much more overwhelming sometimes. Um, you just figure out ways to cope and get through it. They're just kids. We're not going to break them, right? I have a question for you guys. Do you and your spouse use different pillows or the same kind of pillows? Asa likes a super heavy, firm pillow. I'm more of a squishy pillow kind of gal. In there. We go. Oh, feeling so accomplished already. Fix this little part. Yeah. Yay. Okay, on to task two. Now we have to get this hair done, y'all. But Rennie Allen wants to know how do you get motivated to wake up and do things early in the morning? I'm gonna tell you, I actually wake up later now than I ever have because I don't have to get Isaiah off to school. So with Abigail, um, I wake up around 7.15, 7.30, and Asa and I rotate with how who takes her to school. So like today I took her to school, so I take my shower, get dressed, but I don't do my hair and makeup until I come back from dropping her off. So it is the joy of working from home that I'm able to do that. On the weekends, I'm always the first one up. And so that's when I take my time and just get my little chores done that I like to do. And it's my quiet time. A lot of times Abby is awake, but she will just hang out on the couch while I'm, you know, tidying things up and cleaning up around the house. So that's my little trick. I don't wake up super early and do all the fancy things. <laughs> Lauren Kay wants to know, what do you use to keep your busy life organized? I need help with this. So I personally use the awesome calendar on my iPhone. Love it so much. Um, and we do have our weekly family meetings where we talk about everything we have going on and we kind of make our to-do list as a family. It helps. I do use the alarms in the calendar because even if I put it in my calendar, I'm so bad about it, you guys. I will forget even when I write it down. So I always, always make sure I put an alarm for however long I need to remind myself. So Kirsten Villarreal would like to know, did I have um, hair loss? after my weight loss surgery and yes i did i actually did a whole video on that i will have asa link it above um but yes i did have it my hair is growing back um i've got little baby hairs in between my regular hair so it will come back there's really according to my doctor there's really nothing we can do to stop it i mean you need to make sure you're getting in your protein um but some people are just going to have that. And it's not just weight loss surgery. It's anything that's like a shock to your system. Your whole body chemicals change. And so it's kind of a shock to your system. So um, I was super stressed about that happening, but it's been okay. As you can see, I have plenty of hair. Rag G asked, is Florida that really hard to live at in, in the summer? 
I would say no once you get used to it. So it's super hot, right? But you guys, some of you live in very cold climate. So it's all in what you get used to in life, right? And I've grown up around this. I've always been in the South. Um, that's why, you know, when it gets cold here, we're like, oh my gosh. But yeah, it's all in what you get used to. Angel Horses wants to know, what are some good foods to help lose weight? And you know, it's gonna be different for everyone, but obviously everybody should try to stay away from carbs, um, unless you're like a runner or something like that. And you can have everything in moderation. Um, when you limit yourself like completely, you're gonna be less successful because you're gonna feel like you're missing out and you're not giving yourself those things that you really crave. So I am in the mindset of moderation. Today for lunch, I'm super excited because I'm gonna be having some like stir fry chicken. Now it comes with the jasmine rice. I personally cannot have rice since my surgery. So I will just eat the chicken part of it and I'll be good to go. And I think it has some vegetables with it. So I'm super excited to show you guys that and get that cooked later on. But yeah, stay away from those carbohydrates and you know, the sugars and the sweets. Um, I'm, you know, but then there's people who are vegetarian and they do really well with that. And there's people who are keto. So it just complain. it's really based off of what you like. Um, the thing I do like about HelloFresh is they have different options for people. They have low calorie, they have, um, vegetarian options. So it's very flexible in that case. So that's nice. Ali Oops said, do you meal plan or prep for family dinners? Um, so I try to have like a loose menu for the week. Um, you know, things come up sometimes and it's not always, you know, it, you're not always able to do that. I do love HelloFresh though, because when I'm in a pinch and maybe I don't have time to go to the grocery or maybe I didn't come up with a recipe for that, that night. I can just throw that in and it works perfectly. It also gives me an option to like eat something out of my wheelhouse that I wouldn't normally choose. So I really like that option as well. But for the most part, I try to meal plan or have a loose schedule of what we're gonna have for the week. But again, things happen, life happens, and you always want a plan B, right? So that way you can make healthier options rather than, oh, I didn't plan anything, so we'll just go grab fast food. Now you have a healthier option and it's super quick because all the meals, for the most part, a lot of them can be done in like 30 minutes and I love that, super easy and quick. I'm all about that sometimes. Sometimes you don't have time to make meals, but you still have to feed your family. <laughs> Alice asks, how do you handle the mom guilt? And I know this is like a real life thing. I have dealt with it my entire motherhood. Um, I used to work in the corporate world and I had mother guilt. I have been a stay at home mom, still had the mom guilt. I don't think it's ever gonna go away. Um, how do I handle it? Knowing that I'm doing my best, knowing that if I take time for me, I'm going to be a better mom. I'm going to be a better wife. It puts me in a good mood. It doesn't mean you have to go for hours and hours or a month or, you know, it's be realistic. Start off slow. Um, now that both of my kids, obviously Isaiah is away at college and Abigail um, goes to school during the day, I definitely, you know, I work um, from home, but I, that's like my my alone time too. So working is not a chore for me. It, um, and I know a lot of people actually work out of the home and that's like their time. So you can't let it get the best of you because you're gonna be a better mom if you take time for yourself, I promise. Even when it feels wrong, your kids need a break from you. Think about back when you were a kid. You did not want your parents with you 24 seven. Like you need a break. Special needs, not special needs. It doesn't matter. Everybody has to have a break from each other. You're gonna love your significant other, your spouse, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever it is, but you still have to have a break and you have to have that me time sometimes. I am such a people person. I love to be around people, 
but I also have to have time for me. Whether it's in the car by yourself, just pumping the music really loud, or, you know, going to the grocery store. Like when the kids were younger, that was like, I loved going to the grocery. So do not let that mom guilt get the best of you. Alrighty, our hair is done. I like it, it's super cute. Just, you know, I'm from the South, so the bigger the hair, the better. <laughs> Maybe you don't like it this big. That's fine. Just don't volumize it as much. But your girl likes some big hair. Okay? Plus, it's going to fall because, you know, it's Florida. So, moving on to the makeup. Happy Monday. Okay. Good morning, Amanda. How are you? So, the next time you guys see me, I'm going to be changing foundation colors. Because I'm getting a little more pale. Hey, Ashley. Um, hey, Barbara. Ooh, that's a good one, Karen. Okay, so Karen on my live right now wants to know what is my favorite salad. So my personal favorite salad is going to be romaine hearts cut up with some cucumber, tomato, onion, um, either goat or feta cheese, and... The salad topper, which is like uh, seasonings and bacon bits and stuff. And then I like the Good Seasons Italian dressing. Emma Green said, do you ever wish you could eat loads of food? So if you don't know, um, I had weight loss surgery. And so I'm not able to eat a lot. Um, I don't. I really don't. I don't miss that at all. Katie wants to know. Have you ever wanted to do or try something but are too scared? Hmm, that's a tough one. There, are, I'm sure there are things that I want to do. So I've, okay, yeah, there is. I would love to have a clothing line. Like, I don't want to be a designer, but I would like to have a clothing line that I represent. But I am scared about it because there's so many junky clothing lines out there that it's just nerve-wracking, you know? You know what I mean? So that would be my that would be my thing. Oh boy. So some exciting news. Um yeah, this is gonna be my last meal that I cook in this kitchen. What? Yup, it's happening. We are gonna make Thai basil chicken stir fry never would have picked this out, but I'm so excited. It's with lime, green beans, and jasmine rice. I can't have jasmine rice, but I can definitely have the basil chicken and the green beans. So let's get cooking. You guys are gonna wanna use my code SillaStuffinThings80 to get $80 off of five boxes from your HelloFresh. That is such a great deal, free shipping, and you don't have to go to the grocery store. Like, sign me up, girlfriend. The other thing that I love is there's no waste. Um, we have recycled products. I use the little bag. Let me, let me just show you. Let me show you. Check that out. It has all the ingredients right in the bag for you. You don't even have to think about it. Don't you love a meal? You're gonna eat better, you're gonna eat healthier, and you're gonna eat at home if you don't have to think about it as much. It's gonna work. Emma Berry asks, how do Asa and I make time for each other while we're so busy? And one of the things that we love to do is actually have like date days. When the when Abby, I keep saying the kids because I'm used to the kids, but now we just have Abby. When she's at school, we have to take a day off and make time for each other. So let me find. I love that the recipe card tells me what ingredients I'm gonna need. That's a lifesaver. Most of the time, it's just like an oil, a butter, and maybe a salt that you have to add. Other than that, everything is taken care of for you. Simplicity. It's going to be less stress in your life, I'm telling you. So I saw this question earlier. I didn't catch your name, but someone asked, how do you keep your pantry so organized? And girl, I don't. You have to, like, I personally have to redo my pantry every couple of weeks, and that's what works for me. Right now, it's a hot mess. I will show you, but don't be judging. 
all my things are not in their places right now but we'll give it a couple of days and we'll we'll redo it one of my favorite things about HelloFresh is that they're gonna send me these little sauces so I don't even have to stress about how many times have you purchased a whole jar of something and only needed a little tiny bit like this rice same thing I'm not I don't purchase rice because I don't eat rice but it's fun for this recipe and now I have it that's a win in my book when Kaiser asked an awesome question she said how proud of you are you for your weight loss and I'm so proud of myself weight loss surgery is not easy um, there are days when I'm just like oh but I'm a work in progress I hit my immediate goals you know I, I'm at 105 pounds lost I'm still there but I am nowhere near where I want to be and so I need to take control of that and I am implementing some new things I'm constantly changing things up for me I just want to feel better even better than I do now um so yeah thank you for noticing and I appreciate you guys I am so proud of myself and I know that I can do the rest of what I want to get done. I have another question. I cannot remember who the person was, but they asked, have you always known how to cook? And I have not. So if you don't know how to cook, this might be a really good option for you. Like how cool would this be for a newlywed couple? Maybe the wife is not, doesn't know how to cook. That's okay. I didn't know how to cook when I first got married. So this could build your confidence level and just give you like what you need. So no, I didn't. So there is hope. If you don't know how to cook, there is hope. Look, I didn't know how to cook. I love that HelloFresh offers families of two, maybe four. So you could get this and you know just feed you and your spouse or you and your significant other maybe it's just you and you want leftovers there's a lot of different options which makes it very convenient Phyllis Seidel asked if I am jealous of the relationship that Abby has with Asa and I would say no um Isaiah and I you know I don't know I'm an only child and I was super close to my parents and Isaiah is very close to us um, Abby still is super close to me. It's a different relationship than what she has with Asa. Um, and we all have different relationships with each other. So definitely I'm thankful that she has such a good relationship with both of us and her brother. And, you know, with autism, a lot of times they don't want to be affectionate. And she's definitely not like that. So no, I'm grateful. Libby Honda wanted to know how I'm doing now that Isaiah has been gone for a month. And guys, he's actually been gone longer than that. I miss him. Like we all miss him. He's such a huge part of our family. Like he's my son. He was not a typical teenager. Like he did not just hide in his room. He was in the family all the time and I miss him. So I cannot wait for next month when he'll be home for the holidays and it, it'll just complete our family again. So super, super miss him. <laughs> Jessica Stolars wanted to know how many days a week Abby goes to school. She goes to school like a normal school day, five days a week. And I'm not gonna tell the exact hours, but yeah, it's a normal school day. Monday through Friday um, is what she does. I love sauces who else is a sauce person one of the things i love about hellofresh is that they have the best sauces so i'm making a um sweet soy glaze and chili sauce i'm super excited about that i'll let you know what i think it's smelling so good and i haven't even put the chicken in yet but guys this is only a 20 minute meal perfect for like a lunch option which is what i'm doing today and we're gonna have leftovers so what i might do is just give this to abigail in summer for dinner and i may just eat a salad so that sounds like a good plan to me but kim millard wanted to know do you ever feel like you need a break from asa i mean yeah like we're human right it's not a bad thing to need a break from your loved ones. We have to stop thinking of it as being negative. Um, 
you need a break from your kids, you need a break from your friends, you have to have breaks. You have to be able to clear your mind and just be able to refresh your mind and your soul and all your things. Some people require more breaks than others. I am a people person, so I don't require as many breaks. In the evenings though, I can tell you, Asa kind of does his thing and I do my thing. After Abigail goes to bed, we kind of have our separate things that we do. So that is our break. And then we're not together like all the time. He's in doing his work right now, I'm doing my work. So don't feel bad about needing a break. Doesn't mean you don't love them. It smells so good. I'm gonna drop the temperature, drop the heat a little bit. But look at all this chicken, you guys. This is awesome. And it smells so good. Okay, Lauren Celine wants to know, what is your favorite part about being a mom? There are so many favorite parts for me about being a mom, but I would have to say anytime my kids succeed at something. And with that, sometimes they have to fail before they succeed, but just seeing them push through and not giving up, that would be my favorite part. Also, just being able to do the things that they want to do. Um, I'm so excited when, you know, even for me and Asa, when we have a goal and that goal like works out because they don't always work out, but when they work out, it's awesome. So that would be my favorite part. Tabitha Nicole wants to know, how do you keep your hair so pretty? But first of all, thank you. Um, honestly, like I don't do a lot to it. I have a shampoo and conditioner. Um, <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't put a lot of heat on it. That's the biggest thing, guys. And when you color it, you need to, when I had blonde hair, I would pull it all the way through, and it was almost like a bleach blonde. That was definitely not the healthiest option for my hair. So now I've gone more to my natural color, and I do some low lights. And it's definitely healthier that way. Um, I do like to use an argon oil, which again helps with keeping it healthy and wash it every other day. Um, but I don't always blow dry. And I think that's important because I think if you blow dry too much and you like curl it and do all your different things, it's, it's just gonna make it not healthy. So those are my few tips, you guys. This is amazing look at this pot Woo! I mean who doesn't want a healthy option for lunch so I cannot have rice but I'm gonna make Asa's plate and this is one of those things we'll have like a little mini date day you just want to make it look cute you know all the fun things fluff your rice a little bit so we'll put his on his plate first Oh, I'm so excited. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. It's always fun to have my friends around, even if you can't talk back, right? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should because then you get to ask questions like this when I have these kind of videos and it's fun. But thank you guys so much for hanging out and being a part of this community, it's so much fun. Don't forget, you're gonna get a link down below to go get these awesome meals. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys. It looks so good, right? I'm pretty sure we nailed this one. Oh my, how the tables have turned. <laughs> the video camera's on mute. What do you think? Is it a good? Yeah. I love HelloFresh lunch days. It's it's perfect. Yeah. yeah it's good. <gasps> Do we have a surprise visitor? <laughs> have, have you eaten? It's like no. she smelled the food from her room. We have food if you want it. Lunch time. <laughs> it smells good. Right? I'm so glad you like it. Mm -hmm. This to be the cutest thing I've ever received in a HelloFresh meal. It's a pepper. Like one single little tiny pepper. Y'all, I can't.